We need to look perfect. We need to look symmetrical. Farting, eating, going to the toilet. Hey fam, it's your girl Jess. So today's video is about toxic beauty standards. I can definitely say that I started doing makeup because I just, I loved it. It made me feel really, really confident. I used to do purple eyeshadow. I used to do blue liners. I loved experimenting because I just thought it was fun to act a bit more confident and like I said in previous videos I'll link them up here if you haven't watched them I never felt confident I never used to even look in a mirror because I was so self-conscious I truly believe if you don't feel beautiful within yourself you're never going to so I personally feel like a lot of makeup brands make you feel like you need to have this product or you know buy this and you look like this or if you have this you won't have this right and it's like, why do we feel like we have to be different people with makeup on? Now, I'm not saying to not like be a bit more bougie because hello, like, I feel like that's what makeup really does. But in saying that, I feel like we need to remember that we are the same person with and without makeup. And I know this whole trend thing goes around where it's like, oh, you know, you're a catfish or you don't look the same without makeup. Uh, yeah, without makeup. And it's like, well, I might not look the same, but I am the same. I'm the same person and makeup is enhancing my beautiful features already and that's what I love to promote that it's enhancing your beauty no matter what because if you don't have those features, we can't do anything for that. You know what I mean? Like, of course, there are little tricks and trades and things that you can do, but at the end of the day, we're still working with what you have and I feel like we forget that a lot of the time and... My mom says this all the time about copy and paste. Everyone is starting to look the same because we see these amazing models and flawless, flawless models with, you know, no makeup on, skincare and stuff like that, ads and advertising. And it's just kind of like, well, how false is that? You know, I feel like brands, well, Instagram actually has now made it compulsory to write if it's an ad or if you've got a free gift which i think is great but i think also we should make a post or a hashtag sorry about when something is filtered photoshopped edited and i feel like that would make people feel so much more confident and so less self-conscious because they're like oh okay it's okay, they don't really look like that. You know, this isn't the beauty standard because like I've said in my previous video, what is the beauty standard? It's shifting all the time and it's so unsustainable that the people that are beauty standards aren't even sustaining it because they have editing and resources and all these things that we pro I probably don't even know about. I think I know some stuff, but I probably don't even know what they have, right? So it's just, I feel like it's just getting out of hand because we have this idea that we need to look perfect, we need to look symmetrical, we need to, you know, be flawless, we can't have a pimple, you know, we can't have wrinkles, God forbid, you know, you have to have straight hair, curly hair is becoming more of a thing now, which I'm so grateful for, but do you, do you see where this is going? I feel like we're all just trying to look like some celebrities I would say some influencers and while they are beautiful and I'm not saying anything against anyone I'm just saying that the biggest privilege and the biggest thing that no one else can take from you is the way you are because no one in the whole world in this whole world people can might look like you but no one is you and if we can start seeing that as an advantage rather than a disadvantage I feel like we would boom so much and the beauty industry will blossom and boom my instagram i don't edit any of my photos i refuse unless it's photography like unless it's for an actual shoot it's not really up to me but i always will take the photo of the makeup and i'll post that then i'll post the other photo so people can see the authenticity of the photo they'll see how your action how you actually look with the makeup on i don't want to send unrealistic beauty standard goals because no one in this whole world can look flawless. It's impossible. Like I said before, if you're a baby, you know, zero to maybe three. Yeah, of course. Oh my God, they have nothing. But moving on, it happens. It's it's so normal. Something as well I have been seeing. <laughs> no shade to anyone because I always say, you get your money how you get it. You know, you do you, boo. You do you. You're not harming anyone. You're not 
upsetting anyone you do you but the thing is that I see and let me know if you see this too a lot of these influencers um, aren't even makeup influencers yet they're always promoting makeup or they're doing stuff like that and the only reason this bugs me a bit is because people don't understand how important makeup is to a lot of people and I feel like that's fine if you want to do that you do it right but don't just do it for money I just feel like if you always come from a place of oh my god I'm gonna get so much money I personally don't think you're gonna actually get very far and if you do get far it's gonna be fake and people are gonna see that because people have now started to open their eyes more and it's it's amazing to see but it's also sad because do it for the love do it to actually help people that don't know what they're getting I've said this for a lot a long time that when I was younger I would watch YouTube videos as I still do <laughs> and a lot of people that aren't even makeup artists would recommend products or even some makeup artists would recommend products or makeup influencers would recommend products I'll go buy it it will be awful and they will swear by this product and it just makes me feel really sad because I'm like well who can I really trust you know and that's why when I do product reviews I always say this works for me I want to talk about my skin tone my skin texture my like everything about me so then if someone does have similarities with me they can buy that I will try to always accommodate for other skin types and other skin tones and textures as I have been doing but I can't say that this product works and it will work for every single person I just do you know what I mean like I just don't think that is a hundred percent realistic and it's happened so many times that you kind of get to a point where you're like well what do, who do I trust now or you know what I mean and it's just sad because I feel like if we started doing things for the love of it rather than the money behind it wow we would we would impact so many people and I always say I don't know if I've said it on YouTube yet but I do say this I always say if you follow an influencer that truly influences you to do better, to feel better, to look better, to actually improve your own self-esteem and your life, then you're, you, that is someone that you should always follow and I, pro I promote that. But if you're following someone that makes you feel bad about yourself, that you know doesn't really do much for you, I don't understand why you continue to follow those people. I personally have unfollowed anyone that has made me feel like that and they don't do it on purpose but it's just how I feel. I, I don't feel like I'm getting benefit from this influencer and that is what they're meant to do right so just really think about that before you follow someone because they've got millions of followers or because they're so beautiful and that's amazing but are they helping you feel beautiful as well are they doing anything to impact you are they authentic are they honest those are the questions you really should ask yourself before you follow someone it's okay not to be symmetrical it's okay not to be perfect and have two perfect eyes and two perfect eyebrows the same perfect nose you know whatever it's it's totally normal and i just feel like people hide the fact that they do botox and fillers because they also want to feel perfect they want to feel like no this is me natural when we all really know it's not and it's just some people don't know and they're like oh my god they're so blessed and they're so lucky and i used to be one of those people that used to be like thanks god <laughs> thank you <laughs> you know and it's it's such a sad way to think and i think that beauty the beauty industry needs to pull up their game and stop using people with flawless skin on skincare as well burns my soul because you can see the makeup you see that they already have you can't promote an acne prone product if the person doesn't have acne or at least show them with acne and while using that product the before because then someone can be like oh my god this actually works there's no photoshop there's no filter it's just good lighting and it's the truth i just think we need to be more honest about our marketing and i understand that you need to market the way you need to to get sales i get it but can we just be a bit more honest with the way we're doing that i think People will appreciate it so much, so much more, and you'll get authentic, real. You you actually change people's lives, and I feel like that's the biggest thing I can say right now. And I understand why a lot of people do get surgery, 
that are on TV or on film, when you see yourself, even on YouTube, when I, when I started seeing myself more, I realized so many different things that I didn't see before and I understand. And then we start comparing ourselves to other people on those platforms and you're like, wow, well, they look great. Again, back to comparing. It's just this whole cycle of perfect, like fakeness and not like the people fake but like it's all an illusion because no one can sustain that image ever and i posted something on my instagram yesterday like no matter how good we look right now in the evening we're gonna all be in our pajamas farting eating going to the toilet <laughs> it's just who we are as humans i'm gonna start doing hashtags when i do have an edited photo from my photo shoots and i'm gonna write edited photo you know beauty like touched by you know, beauty, what do, what do they photographers do? They do like beauty edits, beauty touches. I don't really know what it's called, but I will find it and I will write it, <laughs> you know? I think Huda Beauty also did a video similar to this saying she wants to do a petition. And I have been looking into that just to kind of speak to Instagram and see if there's something that they can do as well. If they really care about suicidal rates and people's well-being and people's mental health, then I think that they should do it. And I think it will really impact a lot of people and just make people feel a bit more like, you know, Instagram is like another TV. Just just remember that Instagram is another TV. I just want to say that you are all so amazing. You're so beautiful, every single one of you. Please don't let these brands make you feel like you need anything because you are so perfect the way you are. You don't need anything at all to feel beautiful because it all comes within yourself so do your affirmations in the morning be grateful for the little things you have and yeah thank you all so much for watching keep slaying my queens and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye